Wow, I feel drunk from last night. I might throw up. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, oh. Seems I vomited playing cards. And you can too. So I see a lot of people on TikTok vomiting playing cards and they do it terribly. They do it awfully. They do it with no skill or attention whatsoever to the art that we call magic. And me, as the virgin defender of this art, I have to say, no, stop it. That's assault. Here's how to do it correctly. Now, the first thing you need to learn is how to palm playing cards. If you don't know how to palm playing cards, then I suggest looking at the Pig Cake Magic Academy. Check it out, links in the description below. You learn how to palm, you learn how to lift, you learn how to do everything, but you need to learn how to palm playing cards. In this case, we have approximately 10 to 15 playing cards that we're going to palm, which is just a nice way of saying, hey, I'm gonna hold these cards in my palm. We don't really think too hard when it comes to magic. You're putting pressure with your pinky and the base of your thumb, and that's what's holding the cards in place. Now, vomiting playing cards is most efficient when you're not holding playing cards. If you're shuffling cards in your hand and out of nowhere, <coughs> you decide to vomit playing cards, well, the cards came from your hand, right? The thing is, the connection is not so hard to make. But if you're in line at CVS waiting for plan B because you've made a mistake and you decide to give a chance to the girl that looks like a bowl of meat and potatoes and you just go, <coughs> That's way more effective. So what I suggest is you have about 10 or 15 cards in your pocket, just there, just there chilling in your pocket, waiting for the right moment, the right time for you to vomit playing cards. You're gonna casually put your hands in your pocket and palm them, which just means again, place them in your palm. And then at an opportune moment, you're gonna start feigning a cough. Notice how my left hand came out of my pocket and is now touching my stomach. At the same time, my right hand could just brace my lower back while holding the cards hidden in my right palm. <coughs> oh my God, what's going on with me? Now you are essentially gonna shove the cards in your mouth. What's very important is that this, the smaller section of playing cards clears your mouth. You need this to clear your mouth, not the corner, the entire thing. And all you're doing technically is this. That's all you're doing. You're just spreading the cards. So when you put the cards in your mouth, I'm just spreading them. That's it. I'm just spreading them. But spreading them downward gives the illusion that the cards are coming out of your mouth. And it looks like the cards are just vomiting out of your mouth. So the hand with the playing cards is gonna go inside of your mouth. You're gonna deposit this upper section of cards and you're just gonna spread down. It's not hard. You wonder why people are doing it incorrectly. It's almost like magicians in sex, right? <laughs> Another little thing is that my head goes back. So when I load the cards in my mouth, my head goes back. When the cards are already in my mouth, I'm gonna drop them and I'm gonna drop my head as well, which is gonna give further uh, to the illusion that the cards are in fact coming out of your mouth. So when you combine the whole thing, it looks a little bit like this. <coughs> oh, must be all the COVID, right? <laughs> <coughs> Oh, oh boy, really caught me with that car, 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 card vid 19, right? <laughs> Thank you. And then you ask for your plan B, or if you're a magician, you ask for a pack of Marlboro Reds. I see a lot of you guys are still smoking cigarettes and haven't upgraded to cigars. Come on, smoke cigars, you look cooler. So that's pretty much it. All you're doing is palming the card, putting it and fanning it out of your mouth. You're making sure that the entirety of the section goes in your mouth. The reason for that is so that you could spread them and hold one back, hold one back in your mouth. That way it looks like the cards generally came out of your mouth. If you do that with the corner, well, what? what's going on with that? Where if you put it with the entire small section and you're left with a card in your mouth and it's there inside of your mouth, it just adds to the illusion. I think what it is that magicians don't want to get their cards wet with their spits, but you got to commit to the bits. If you put it with the corner of your mouth, the cards aren't really getting wet. But if you put the entirety of that section in your mouth and you hold a couple back, <coughs> it looks like what you're doing. It looks more of what you're doing. Um, so little tips from Pig Cake. Also, the other one is ring lights. That's my advice on the people teaching this incorrectly because of TikTok videos. Um, you, the ring lights make you look like a, like a retard. Please stop using ring lights. Get a light stand, right? I have one light stand here 
That's a backlight. And then I have one above, but the above one is a set to a really low, low intensity. So you don't really get that harsh look. And it's also purple. So it adds to the aesthetic here. If I want to put a little bit more effort, I would have just done one of these right here. I would have put that and aimed it at the wall. And you see, you get a different little effect there. You get a little different effect. Everything looks cool, copacetic. But you get the ring lights and then you have these, these, you have this. This is what you're looking at. Wow, this is great. This is great. I love to watch this. This looks wonderful, right? Imagine that, but with a ring. It looks dumb. You look dumb. Uh, so that was a rant out of nowhere, but uh, that's how to vomit playing cards. That's how to throw up playing cards. Very easy to do. Uh, don't complicate it. Uh, if you're going to palm them, right, while you're messing around with playing cards, try to do it while you're shuffling. See, look, I could have cards palmed and I could be shuffling cards like this. You see that? I could be mixing them. And then I could put these down and go, oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm getting sick and then vomit the playing cards. Uh, some advice at the end of the video, I guess, some tips, some tricks, little things that I like to put on my audience that watches these videos, which Lord knows is dwindling. Um, uh, lights, you know what? Get lights. Lights make a difference in your place. I used to hate the way my uh, place looked. And then I got some different lights that I could adjust on my phone. And now I love it. I have one that looks like a little, like a candle. I have another one that kind of fluctuates. It makes it look like a motel room, to be honest. I feel like that might be the vibe that I'm going for. But lights can turn a very um, terrible, shitty apartment in Miami into uh, a, a all right, a shitty apartment in Miami. So keep that in mind. When I see you again, when I see you again, when I see you again,